right, here's the video review for Transformers War for Cybertron Astro Train. He is a leader class figure, and he will be coming out uh, as part of the Earthrise line as well, as we've seen in recent pictures. He does come in Earthrise packaging, um, and uh, he's kind of in the same way, a leader in the same way that Shockwave was, in that uh, you've got this whole chunk right here that uh, plugs into the back of the train, um, but this is essentially completely not unnecessary. Um, it does store the weapons. Uh, you can open... Yeah, I'm doing it right. Uh, you can store his guns in here. He's got two guns here, two guns on each side, and then like a little center gun piece, missile launcher thingy that plugs in there. So you can attach this to the back of the train, and it does make the train a little bit longer, um, and it becomes a backpack in... Uh, in a robot mode and it can become a launch platform for the space shuttle it can also like kind of go underneath the space shuttle with some sort of rolly platform thing i don't know but like you don't need this this is this is the main figure and unless you want a weapon and unfortunately like you can't really store two guns evenly on him in train mode or at least they, you can go here and here but these holes are covered up so it's it's awkward to put the guns on them unless you have them in this old tender car but uh that this is just completely uh, extraneous for the actual figure itself. So there he is in train mode, um, and it's not bad. He does have a, a thinner front here than the rest of his body, which is a little odd. There's just a few, uh, there's a few things that I wish were a little different on him, um, and it is a little weird to be getting one so shortly after we just had one in Titan's Return, I believe. But um, so yeah, it's Astro Train. And he's a little steam locomotive here. Got rolly wheels. You kind of see his head there, and a lot of his robot mode bits. And but I, one of the things I do like about him is like, despite the fact that he's kind of new, there's a few tricks that are very evocative of his original G1 toy, which is cool. So here he is as a train, and we're going to go ahead and just kind of pop this out, which will let you rotate these wheels around. And you can go ahead and fold this up. And there's a little peg here. You don't 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 angle it there. Make sure it pegs in straight like that. We'll angle it for robot mode. So flip that up, flip this. Actually, we'll leave this open a little bit so this can flip around and then plug that in there. Flip that around, lift up the uh, the wings, bring them down around like this. Go ahead and untab this little engine piece here because you want uh, this little piece right here is going to flip up and over. And you want these to be disconnected because this piece is kind of going to kind of sit. You can almost kind of see the angled bit in there that's gonna sit against this angled piece, but also there's a groove here on this fin. It doesn't just sit loose. It does actually slide into a slot here on the upper arm. So you wanna fold this around and you wanna make sure these arms have the ability to unwrap because they are going to lock that tail fin down. You fold these pieces in and clip them into place and then hold that together around the, uh, the tail fin and have it back in and that'll lock that tail fin in place versus just having it sit on top and be floppy. And again, here's a bit that very much like his old G1 self. We'll go ahead and pop the legs apart here and separate the front end of the train. And then we'll take these little bits here from the top of the train and fold them into here. And then rotate. I like the train and the shock co cockpit shuttle. Shuttle cockpit. There we go. The cockpit of the shuttle. Uh, rotate around like they did on the old G1 toy. Fold that in, and then fold these pieces up, back around, put them together. Come on, let's get some tension here. There we go. Fold. Oh, and then there's a piece, part of the train. There's a, the side pieces of the train you got to push in. Where'd they go? Ah, yeah. Well, whatever. So fold that up in, lock it back together. And there is his shuttle mode, which is, you can see, very front heavy. There's like an empty space here. And the way I usually, like, somebody has made, taken a second one and taken this piece and made it as a filler so it sits in where it goes here, which looks okay. Um, but uh, one of the ways that I do fill in the shuttle mode, um, which again, you can't store, if you could store the two guns that I use easily on the train mode, I wouldn't even use this thing at all. But uh, if you take the two side guns here, on the two sides, uh, I call them side guns because they specifically, each one has a, on, on opposite sides, has a little peg sticking out for how they attach to things. Um, 
you can untab this and I will tab these in on the holes on either side back here. Again, makes it a little bit more of an armed shuttle, but uh, it does it does kind of fill in some of that awkwardness stuff. It didn't completely get rid of it. It's still not the greatest looking shuttle, but um, it's functional for what it is. And that's the thing, like, despite any visual flaws I have with this thing, he is a fun toy. And if you take this, you can take, go ahead and take all the guns off, which you can, you can put the weapons all over this shuttle, however you wish, just pull these out. I mean, you can put these up here, and then you tab this in like on the side or wherever. A tab there, and I guess you want to go with it, the tab sticking up. But so you can put those on the shuttle, and you can take this. And like I said, there's this. If you leave it like this, and then fold these up like this, the instructions actually show this sitting flat and putting the shuttle on it. And I don't think you actually plug the shuttle into anything. It just sits on it. And maybe that's just supposed to be like a shuttle mover. Uh, you can also open this up and fold this panel down and you can uh, again plug it in like it was on the train oh, this, this rotates so you can get it in the right alignment but you can plug this in and have it be kind of a little launch platform for the shuttle but it does seem kind of like a meetup hey we gotta have a use for this tinder car that we made to justify the leader price point. So you can, ah, camera lock in place. So you can use it as a launch pad. Now, um, this, I've gotten this to sit mostly flat and some of it is just the, the, the surface I'm on. But uh, when I originally got this, when, you, when, it, when I opened it up like this, it would sit almost curved like that. And you can fix that. The pins are really easy to push out. You can easily see where the knurled bits are and it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to knock them out. But like, I did a whole lot of trimming and carving some of the ridges down there. And there's some pictures on TFW that will help. But I, I find that it really just seems to vary figure by figure on how bad the uh, the misalignment is. And uh, you can just, just kind of work at it. But like cleaning out some material off of the back of this black piece and up, up in here in the groove and same on this side will help, let you get it to sit a lot flatter than it normally would. If, if you have that problem. Some people have been getting some good ones and good for them. Like, I'm, I'm a little jealous. So we'll set that off to the side. Then to turn him into a robot, we'll go ahead and pop this off. And the guns can combine. We'll start off with a combined gun. If you take this piece, this little tab here, plugs into that one on the back. You want the one with the holes on the side and the back because these guns go on either side of that. I do wish the guns were purple like his old gun, but whatever. Because he did have a ridiculously large gun in comparison to his body earlier. And then you want to take this with the, with the tab, the peg. There's a peg and a peg hole, and you want the peg to go in front of this peg hole because that this peg is going to go into the empty space here under the gun. We plug it under the bottom, and there's his giant combined gun, which we'll give to him in robot mode here. So robot mode. Uh, lift these up. Pull these out. Bring his legs down. Go ahead and separate the legs here. And then just bring those down around and clip them into place. Uh, these, again, they were flat like this, but you can see there's two peg holes. So for robot mode, uh, angle it forward and peg it into the, that back peg hole. Just gives a little bit of angle detail there. And you don't have to. You can leave it flat. if you, you can leave it straight flat if you want, but that is there. I'll flip his feet down and around. There we go. Stand him up. Flip these little panels down here above his hips. Why is this? Oh, there we go. So one leg is not cooperating. That was because one foot was stuck. Come up here a little higher. And then up here. Let's see if we can get this set up a little better. Uh, untab this. Again. And then that will free up, pull the shoulders apart, or free up the fin, fold that fin down, pull up these tabs here on the side, and bring this whole piece down and around. Fin goes into the chest, snap those down into place. Lift this up, pull the wings back, the arms come down. And 
stab them. And rotate him around the bicep. And flip out his fist. And then bring the backpack down and around onto his back. And then again, this piece sits here with thrusters on his back. So again, some nice details from the old toy that uh, I appreciate that they got worked into this one. And there he is. He's got a limited ball jointed head, dual hinge shoulders, bicep swivel, dual hinge elbows, no wrist swivel. Um, does have a waist swivel, dual hinge hips, uh, thigh swivel that's a little tight, hinge knees, and then his feet have some ankle tilt on them. He can hold his giant rifle like that if you wish. Big old rifle, evocative of the old toy. And like I mentioned, he does have like, this kind of gives him a shockwave-esque battle mode, although even more useless. So you can take this out and slide these panels off and these are gonna be new feet for him. And you take this and fold this down like that. Um, wait, no, turn this around it around to the other side here like this and then this folds up and you just kind of give him an empty backpack here that uh, backpack pegs onto his back uh, in the same place that it always has and then you tab the feet onto here so he's got some new shoes um, make sure this stays I'm gonna snap into place there there we go make sure that locks so that holds up so he's got a backpack and some bigger feet, and that is your leader class. Yeah. Um, and then these guns you can take. Uh, it's supposed to be part of the armored mode. You can put a big gun in each of his hands. Plug this onto his forearm, so he's got some missile launchers there. And then these guns with the side tabs peg onto his shoulders. And this is supposed to be like Astro Train all-out attack mode, but... Not really feeling it. For the most part, those guns are gonna stay in the tinder and uh, and be done with it. But there is fully armored up Astro Train. He's a fun figure. I like Astro Train, um, his shuttle mode. Like I said, visually, both his alt modes are, his robot mode looks great. Uh, his, his two alt modes are a little iffy, but um, he is fun overall. I think, you, like I said, I think Pick a gun you like, throw the rest in that tinder, and then just chick that tinder in a bin, chuck that tinder in a bin, because, I mean, it, it really does not add much to the figure itself. But there's Astro Train.